And they wore their little masks and they had their little shields and they held upside down American flags. This is once again the white supremacist glee club that calls itself Patriot Front. Um, they marched this weekend in D.C. trying to intimidate people, chanting, ch chanting racist slogans. Um, and a local D.C. man named Joe Flood heard that they were out there, heard that that was happening. When he heard that they were out there in his city, he hopped on a bike and he went to go try to find them on the National Mall. You can see Mr. Flood there on the right. He's got the red bike standing near the group. Mr. Flood told us when he found them today, he felt suddenly that it was his duty to say something. So he did. There is simply no time. There will be no memory no of America to Your continue. Your mom hates you. No history to you. fight for. You were the losers of your high we school class. We have gone class. out into this young American who cast adrift not even and crushed under foot. all got different types of pants on. The city is up to waste. Reclaim your virginity. Anarchist. Mr. Flood told us, quote, this guy was giving the speech. He kept having to stop and pull it out of his pocket and then start reading it again. So every time he stopped, I would yell at him and say he was boring. And then I said, why can't you memorize your speech? Why can't you memorize your speech? And then I said, you look like General Custer's illegitimate son. The guy sighed and looked at me and I thought, I got you. I got in your head. Now get out of my town. The white supremacist group eventually left D.C. this weekend, but not before Joe Flood took up permanent residence in the heart of the city.